In October of 2021, the two-year versus 10-year Treasury yield curve stood at a positive 129 basis points. Around that time, the Fed began signaling a coming series of hikes to the Fed funds rate to combat inflation. Twos versus tens began a collapse that has brought it to a current level of negative 21 basis points. Historically, an inverted yield curve is a pretty good predictor of a coming recession in that it reflects a move of investment money into the perceived safety of longer-term treasuries instead of other more risky investments. But in this same time period, the three-month versus 10-year, which is the Fed's preferred view of the yield curve, never moved into negative territory and currently sits at a positive 19. But which view is a better predictor of a coming recession? Three-month yields are a more accurate predictor of the Fed's immediate rate moves, while two-year better reflects the perceived moves over longer time horizon. In the current instance, the Fed put forth a relatively patient outlook considering the high levels of inflation and signaled a more gradual rise over a longer time period. Although the debate is far from settled, some analysts argue that twos versus tens carries more weight. But with the current collapse of three-month versus tenure, the point may be moot if both are soon inverted.